Join me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly as I guide you through the process of achieving a harmonious balance between the shadows, midtones, and highlights of your images in Lightroom Classic. We'll be using the color grading tool, a powerful feature that can take your editing skills to the next level. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'm going to show you a tool inside of Lightroom Classic that can really help your images out. It'll help you to bring balance to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. And that's the color grading tool. Now, I won't be using it to color grade the image, but it has a special slider in it, and that would be the midtone slider. But it also has a shadows and highlights slider, and we can use all three of those sliders to bring perfect balance to your shadows, midtones, and highlights. Now, if we look at the basic adjustment panel, we do have a highlight adjustment. We do have a shadow adjustment slider. We have an exposure slider, but I don't see a mid-tone slider, or is there a mid-tone slider? We do have a mid-tone slider here in the color grading tool. And this is what got me on to this method when I realized, yeah, you know what? We do have a mid-tone slider. We never had that in older versions of Lightroom, but now we have it in the new Lightroom Classic. It's been around for a while, but I just want to be able to leverage it today and show you what we can do with it. On this fall scene, I basically have done some basic adjustments here. I'm just using the Adobe Landscape Profile, but I've adjusted my exposure, uh, just a little bit of contrast adjustment. I've adjusted my highlight shadows, whites and blacks no presence adjustments, and I have no color adjustments on it right now. Here's what it looks like. I'm just uh, typing my backslash key. This is the original image, and this is after my basic adjustments. I also did make an HSL adjustment. Let me just open up HSL and show you here. I pulled back my blues and purples a little bit. I'll shut this off just to show you. I felt the image looked a little too blue. This is what it looked like before that adjustment, and this is what it looks like after. I'm going to go ahead and close this, and now let's jump into the color grading tool. Hey, by the way, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. That way, every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. And also, please like and share my tutorials with your friends. I really appreciate it when you do that. And don't forget to leave comments and questions. I really want to hear from you. This will be a shorter tutorial today, but I think something that everyone can take advantage of and I think it'll take your image processing to the next level and this is a really good starting point. If you watch my TK Friday videos you know I always like to start out with a balance and contrast adjustment. This is something if you don't use Photoshop but you mainly work out of Lightroom this is a good starting point point. and then from here I would get into the masking tools and things like that. But let me show you how easy this is to do and how much of a difference it'll make in your images. Now I've clicked on this first button, which gives us our midtones, shadows, and highlights. And we have three sliders, one for midtones, one for shadows, and one for highlights. Or you could click on these circles here, like the black circle gives us shadows, and the luminance slider is the adjustment I'd be using. And then of course you have midtones and you have highlights. But I like to work from this first button right here, which gives you all three at once. As I said, I won't be using color grading, but you could use color grading here too if you want to, but I just want to focus on shadows, midtones, and highlights because I don't always color grade. At times I do, but I always do a balance of shadows, midtones, and highlights. Well, let me show you how I do this. Now you could start out with shadows, midtones, or highlights. It really doesn't matter. I think I'm going to start out with the shadows. I think I really want to darken up my shadows a little bit more. Now, again, as I've said, I've already done some adjustments up here in basic, but this is the balancing of shadows, midtones, and highlights. So let's go open up the color grading tool again, and I'm going to come to shadows, and I think I want to darken them up a little bit. So I'm going to start to move this to the left. And you can see they're darkening up very nicely. I don't want to block them up. So if I go too far, I'll darken them down too much. So I don't want that. But I think maybe right about here looks pretty good. And now let's go to highlights. I think I could really bring some of these highlights out. So let me start to take this highlight slider. And I'll start to drag it to the right. And see how those highlights really start to open up. And look at these trees. It really helps this fall scene out. And it also helps the sky up here too. So I can go pretty strong on this. 
And now for midtones, you know, I could darken up my midtones if I wanted to, depending what mood I'm in, or maybe I'll just lighten them up a little bit, maybe somewhere right about here. Now, this is something really cool with this tool. You have these little eyeballs right here. If you click left click with your mouse and hold this down, you can see the before midtones. So there's before the midtone adjustment. Here's after. Here's before the shadow adjustment. I'm just left clicking and holding down my mouse. Here's before the shadow adjustment. Here is after. Big difference. And now here is the highlights. Here's before the highlight adjustment. And here's after. And then if you want to see the overall before and after, you could come up here under color grading and toggle this off. And there it is without. And here it is with. And now we've added some really nice balance to the shadows, midtones, and the highlights. Now these adjustments down here, blending and balance, I don't really use these here. These are more for when you're actually doing the color grading. For this adjustment, I just leave these alone and I only work with the midtone, shadow, and highlight sliders. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today and please give it a try and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like. Share it with your friends, and if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing!